pocket, is it? 26. That's uh, Tomo, is it? Yeah. Tomo. Who's, who's uh, the other ruck now? Seven, does it? Bryce. Barrett. 30, 35. Barrett. That's Mountain. He's the ruck rover. Yep. Nine for South is coming. Daryl coming. That's his first game, isn't it, for South? Yeah, that's uh, Moylan there, number 12. One's Carter. We've got to just be careful. We don't Canada. call him South Melbourne. Yeah, I know. <coughs> it's very number difficult. 12 is uh, Moylan. He looks the Moylan. likely looking customer, doesn't he? Yeah. 12 Moylan, 12 Moylan. Coming. Moylan, Carter. Carter's the captain, isn't he? You could easily. And here we go for the first quarter from BFL Park. Umpire Jim Chapman coming in to bounce the ball for the first quarter. South Melbourne, South Fremantle. Getting up high was Thompson. Couldn't get the ball away from the pack. Browning dives right on top of it. It's still in the rather sticky centre circle now. And the umpire once again deciding to ball it up. Umpire Marcy and umpire Chapman, the two officials here tonight for match number six in the Australian Football Championships for 1979. He still can't get it out of the centre square. There's a little bit of a glue pot there, and it looks like Mark Browning to take the first free kick. Now it's Zantuck, and he's going to boot South Melbourne into attack. They're kicking towards the city end goal. Up goes uh, Big Moylan for South Fremantle. He couldn't mark the ball. Soccer that at the pack, and there's plenty of weight being used in the pack too. The umpire's whistle is gone. It's going to be a, a South Fremantle free kick, and it's to be taken out there for them it looks like by uh, Simon Outhwaite Outhwaite's kick now up towards the half forward line for South Fremantle again nobody can mark it it looks as though it's going to be a pretty wintry sort of a night football wise because the ball it would appear is quite slippery and there's uh, another free kick to South Fremantle to be taken by Robert Popagies and he'll boot South Fremantle deep into attack the ball up towards the uh, centre half forward position should have been a mark down there almost to South uh, Melbourne but they couldn't take it trying to go through for South Fremantle was uh, Vagona and he's going to get the free kick it would appear Benny Vagona some uh, 50 metres out need to be a very good kick for me to score tonight with the greasy conditions prevailing nobody can mark that one a chance for two South Melbourne players and going through is Jackson number 17 the umpire's whistle is gone and Francis Jackson to get South Melbourne's first free kick and it's Francis Jackson looking out there for little Evans and Evans takes the mark on the half uh, back line a hand pass coming over to Cummins playing his first game with South Melbourne he sluice, sliced it off the side of the boot out it goes wide East Fre uh, South Fremantle trying to get the ball out there there's Vagona going after it now he was grabbed and the umpire said holding the man a free kick to Vagona on the centre wing position for uh, South Fremantle. A 15 metre penalty against Cumming uh, for going over the mark. And uh, as I said before, Darrell Cummings playing his first game uh, for uh, South Melbourne. Ball back up there towards Thompson off the top of the pack. Here's a go now for Jackson to pick it up. He was pushed in the back, but the umpire said play on. It'll be a ball up about 35 metres out from the South Fremantle goal. South Fremantle playing in their colours of red and white. And of course, South Melbourne using the neutral colours of the Escort Championship, that's the orange colours and we see Carter getting a free kick for South Fremantle, dead in front of me about 35 metres out from goal, if that no score on the board as yet and we've played uh, two and a half minutes of this Escort Championship, coming to you live through Channel 7 ground very slippery, we've had some pretty heavy rain here for the last uh, half an hour or so but it's stopped, the kick by Carter looks pretty good, it's coming around nicely, it's through for a goal well Bobby, that's not a bad start for them very good start, Lou, and uh, it's a little bit confusing, and as we repeat, that South Melbourne in the Orange Guernseys, but it's interesting to note that South Melbourne have made at least 11 positional changes to the selected side, Lou. They've, it's made um, it easy for the commentators, <laughs> too. <laughs> but uh, Teasdale has lined up at centre-half forward, Barry Round has gone to the forward pocket, and uh, Len Thompson has started off in the actual first ruck. Well, there's the score. We see uh, South Fremantle one goal straight, six points to South Melbourne. Yet the score playing in the orange jumpers after the three and a half minute mark of this first quarter of the Escort Championship. And South Melbourne now go forward through Bernie Evans. He's wearing his usual number 15, but in the orange colours. It's socket away for South Fremantle by Paul Mountain. The umpire says kicking in danger, and it will be a South Melbourne free kick just wide of the 10 metre square. <coughs> Let's pick up who's going to take it. Unusual, unusual people. So Barry, very it? round. Some 20 metres out from goal. Pretty well directly in front, but he's missed it. He's uh, sliced it off the boot as it went through. And South Melbourne registering their first, the first score to South Melbourne. It's a minor one. Kavanagh from fullback. 
putting the ball back into play. Quite a good kick out towards the outer side of the ground. Nobody can pick it up there. A chance for Morrison, but his kick was smothered. And uh, South Fremantle going in through the agency of Outhwaite. They can't do much with it either, and it will be thrown back into play. Most of the crowd here this evening under cover with these persistent showers. They're not heavy, but they are making the conditions a little bit greasy. Knocked down by Moreland for South Fremantle. South Melbourne go forward through Zantuck. That's a high kick, doesn't cover much distance. Out they come from goal to meet it, almost knocked away by Kavanaugh. The umpire calls, no, he has blown the whistle. He's paying the mark to South Melbourne, it would appear. I think it's a free kick, Pete. Got on his back then. And Max James to take the mark or free kick, whichever you like. Max James in his regular number for the Swans, if we can call them that tonight, and these strange colours to us, to come in and have a shot for goal. He would be about 45 metres out, the angle about 45 degrees, favouring the drop punt. It's not a bad one. Hit the post. And so South Melbourne, second score on the board. That's also a point. They move to two behinds, two points. South Fremantle, one goal, six points, and in the first quarter, we've been playing just on five minutes. Ball back into play again. A good mark there to Zantuck of South Melbourne. Zantuck would be about uh, 45 to 50 metres out from goal. Kicked by Zantuck. Lands right in the square. Ball getting up, having a go. There's a chance now for coming to five for the gunner. It's a Hansel. He puts it through for full points. Not particularly good play by the defence of South Fremantle there, Lou. As, uh, you know, there were three South Fremantle defenders up in the air all at once, and Hounsell, the perfect roving job, uh, stayed on the ground, and, uh, well, it's one man up at all times, is the old, old saying. And uh, Hounsell, we watch the replay here, we can see three of them up there together, and Hounsell at the back whipped in, or hooked it over the shoulder, and it was a good piece of uh, football by Colin Hounsell. Nice bit of play, and South Melbourne have hit the front. One goal, two eight points to... Uh, to uh the South uh, Fremantle, one goal, six points. The centre bounce, a chance for South Fremantle to get the ball up there towards the full forward zone and a good mark uh, taken here by Morley of uh, South Fremantle. He'd only be about uh, 45 metres out from goal directly in front. Let's see what he can do with this one. Wing player, Morley. It's off the side of his oh. boot. Oh, it's worked out OK. And there's a mark taken out there by Barrett. And Barrett of South Fremantle has a chance to score here. Now, he's only about 20 metres out on a slight angle, but could easily do this. You've got to understand that the South Fremantle people would find it a bit difficult to score here on this wet serve because they have pretty good grounds over. The kick is off uh, target and through for one point. And we see a point the difference uh, now. One goal, one seven points, South Fremantle. The South Melbourne one, two, eight points. At the six and a half minute mark of the first quarter of the Escort Championships. As we wait now for the ball to come back into play. The ball driven well out there towards that uh, centre half back position. Knocked out by Thompson. Finally, it's picked up by Luckier of South of uh, Fremantle. It's a chance there for Boskus to mark that ball, but he couldn't hold it. It drops, it goes out to Vagona now, but he can't hold it. Punched away again by, by um, South Melbourne. Finally picked up there by Morley, up towards the full forward zone. Knocked out by O'Neill, and the ball goes there. And chance for Mountain to get it out, but he couldn't get it out. Finally, beautiful play by Cummings as, as he gets the ball round towards the wing position. The pack get themselves set, punched away. That time by uh, Cornell, but the umpire's found a free kick and it'll go there to Kelly, I think. Kelly will take this free kick. Popagies. Popagies. There's uh, Francis Burke down there on the fence. Ball knocked down a chance out for Big Len Thompson takes that mark at a uh, little shorter centre half back. We've played, uh, let's see, seven and a half minutes. And South Melbourne, a one goal, two eight points to South Fremantle, one goal, one seven points. And rather begrudgingly, the ball given back to Len Thompson. And I think I heard another whistle go, did I? As Teasdale takes the mark, he's gone over the mark. The man in question, 15 metres to the former Collingwood Brownlow medalist. And he'll put South Melbourne up towards the centre-half forward position. Teasdale getting underneath the ball. He's playing at centre-half forward, as Bobby Skilton mentioned. A chance now for South Fremantle. Kicked out of danger by Cornell. Out towards the centre-wing position. A race for it out here. Zantuck seems to be doing well on his wing so far. He seems to have the ball on the string here. But a high kick just brings the ball back into play. Going up very high is Morley. Uh, not Morley, but Moylan. And he takes a very good mark for South Fremantle. Up towards the centre wing. That kick will land. It's a two-out duel here. Over the head of both of those players. Picked up by Thompson, but it's a free kick to Rantel. And he'll take it on the centre wing position for the uh, South Melbourne side. Mopsy Rantel, a real veteran. Knocked down by Popagies for South Fremantle. That uh, player is Scrag going through. That's Carter. And he'll take the free kick. Noel Carter, former Richmond player, leading the side tonight. In fact, he's been elected captain for 1979. Here's a chance for uh, Vagoda to pick up the ball, but the greasy uh, conditions eluded him. 
Hand pass is not a particularly good one. It's taken away for South Melbourne by Cruz, who's named at centre half forward tonight. And he's a player that uh, South Melbourne expect quite a lot of this season. Teasdale going up high, couldn't quite mark that ball. And South Fremantle now had the chance to go forward once more. Here comes Bagona, but once again, the slippery condition is not uh, doing too much for him. And luckily for South Fremantle, he's getting a free kick, which he'll take it on the left halfback flank. Benny Vagona for South Fremantle and a wobbly looking punt kick up towards left half forward for them. A chance for Francis Jackson of South Melbourne who goes for a hand pass and South Melbourne are able to clear up towards the centre wing position once more. Neville Fields comes out and takes a safe mark. Good mark to Fields, getting a bit fiery there. Vagona having a go and uh, of course it drops a 15 metre penalty and that brings him just about down to the half forward on giving Fields a chance to send them deep into attack now. South Melbourne the orange jumpers. Coming, trying to get out there. Finally, Zantuck falls over. He tries to regain his balance again. There's a go now for Luckier of uh, South Fremantle. He's got a clear go as he boots the ball well down towards centre-half forward. There's a mark here to Vanderfeen. Vanderfeen's got the mark at centre-half forward for South Fremantle. Looking up there for Boskus. He can't take the mark. The ball finally picked up by Bryce. Hand pass coming over to Browning of South Melbourne. Driving it wide. Looking there for Morris. And he's in the, he has a bit of a clash there with Lockyer that time. But uh, it's uh, Morrison getting the ball back towards centre field. Cornell jumped up a bit high. That was Mountain trying to get it out. But the umpires found a free kick. And it'll go to Moyle and just a little short of centre field in between centre half back for South Fremantle. This is Moyle in the Ruckman. Driving it up towards uh, Vanderfeen. He couldn't hold the mark. Going after it now is Cruz. Taps it over nicely. Finally it's picked up. They're trying to get it out now. South Melbourne. But they're battling hard. That's... Uh, Finally, it's picked up now by uh, O'Neill to clear him out of the danger. Finally, across to uh, Zantuck on his own, who's doing very well out there on the wing. He's winning hands down at the moment, driving it out wide. And there's little Evans out there on his own for South uh, Melbourne. Oh, he <laughs> caught the beauty in the mouth that time from Michael of South Fremantle. And there should be a 15-metre penalty. He decides to play on and drive it right up towards the full forward zone. The pack fly. Papaji's at the back trying to get out. Jackson's there. Finally, it's Teasdale having a snap for goal. But it's off target to through for one point to South Melbourne. And we see South Melbourne go to one goal, three, nine points. To South Fremantle, one goal, one, seven points. 11 minutes gone of this Escort Championship of the first quarter. Come, coming to you live through Channel 7. Kevin R, the full back for South Fremantle. That wobbly looking punt kick, not covering as much distance as his earlier kickoff. Here's a chance for uh, Michael, who was named in the state squad that played over here in the state of origin match last year. And the good mark taken by Morrison. Peter Morrison in Guernsey number three for South Melbourne. The orange covers. Teasdale gets caught with the ball, has to get rid of it very quickly. The defence of South Fremantle equal to the occasion. But uh, coming through is Tony Morewood. He lost control of the ball almost as quickly as he gained it. A chance for Morley. He can't gain control either. That's a good hand pass taken by Bagoda on the run up towards left half forward for the uh, South Fremantle side. Cruz, Morrison, a good chain of hand passes back to Browning. Browning with a beautifully long kick right up towards the centre half forward position. And that's a mark to South Melbourne. And it's uh, brought Brown. down by Barry Round. On a dry day, I would suggest that Barry Round could almost kick this, but the ball would be getting a little bit heavy now, I think. Let's see what he can do with it. That's a beautiful kick covering the required amount of distance. The accuracy is there too. Four points. Well, a beautiful goal by Barry Round then. And, uh, and it was good play by Browning. Uh, Browning playing in the centre tonight, and his disposal on that occasion uh, was typical of, of Mark Browning. He's uh, a magnificent kick of the ball, and I, I think this is possibly the best position for Browning, Lou. He, um, it's good to have a centre man who can really kick the ball well, and Browning uh, didn't uh, let the side down then when he put it right down in, a, in the manner that Barry Round would really desire. Well, there's the score. At the 12 and a half, just on the 13 minute mark, South Melbourne 2 3 15 to East Fremantle, uh, South Fremantle, I should say, one goal, one seven points. Down towards South Melbourne, centre half forward position. They're trying to break clear. There's Papaji's trying to receive a hand pass, but the umpire has found a free kick. And it will go down there to uh, Outhwaite of uh, South Fremantle, a little short of centre half back. This is Outhwaite kicking the ball right across towards the centre field position. Thompson in front. Knocked away by Michael over his head. Good play that time. Ball finally picked up now by Jackson. Jackson of South Melbourne driving it well down towards the centre half uh, forward position. Oh, down goes round. He couldn't pick that up. Out it comes wide. There's a chance now for them to clear it, the ball out this time as they drive the ball South Fremantle. Around the wing position it goes. Ball punched away by Jackson again. Back it comes here now. We see Morrison pick it up. 
A hand pass coming over to Fields. A left foot driving kick right out towards that half forward line. Althwaite got up high for South Fremantle. Couldn't pick it up. Finally picked up by Evans. Oh, smart play, but he grabbed him in time. Then just took the ball away. But Evans won't give up as he gives the ball back to Zantuck. Out there on that half forward line. A long kick up towards the full forwards. And there's Popogies in front. Goes with a big punch. Knocks it out. But there's little Evans scouting around like a real champion. But a shocking kick. Intercepted that time. Right on the line that time by uh, Althwaite again. And the ball is out of bounds in the forward pocket for South Melbourne. About 20 metres around from their goal. Waiting for the ball to come back at the play. In front is Moylan. Didn't get a good knock at that time. But it's picked up nicely by Barrett of South Fremantle. They take it away from the danger zone. Barrett's kick up towards the centre of the ground. And quite a few of the players misjudging it. Not Francis Jackson who goes through like a steam train. Morley covers him but the umpire calls play on. And that was a good decision. Jackson driving South Melbourne into attack once more. Round. Goes for a wild hand pass looking for Hounsell, but it's knocked away from that player. Back into the centre of the ground and plenty of weight being used there. And out comes uh, Rioli for South Fremantle. His kick is not a particularly good one. Taken by Michael, though. Michael's kick up towards right half forward. Jackson for South Fremantle overruns the ball. And a chance for the Southerners to clear. It's South Melbourne to the arms of Rantel. And Mopsy won't mess around with this. He goes pretty well straight out the ground. It's a beautiful pass to Morrison. And he takes a safe mark. Pagoda can't catch him. And Peter Morrison booting South Melbourne into attack now up towards the half-forward line. Umpire Jim Chapman has plucked out a free kick. It's going to Brownlow Middle as Teasdale, it would appear. And now the call is play on. Teasdale not wasting a second of time up towards full forward. Max James. Great mark under these conditions. The ground not particularly heavy, but the ball very slippery, I would suggest. And James, another former interstate player in VFL ranks, can pretty well play anywhere, but... Tonight on the forward line, shoots for goal. I don't think he's made any mistake about that. Four points. There's a couple of players in that uh, South Fremantle side I like, Bob. That Pagana on the wing seems a good sort of a player. Popogies could be a player. He was outmarked then. Started off very well, uh, Lou, and uh, putting uh, Teaser under a lot of pressure, though, uh, Popogies. And uh, he uh, looks a very strong player, but uh, maybe the conditions favour him a little bit because he is much shorter than Teasdale. But he's still been there, giving, uh, getting that big fist to the ball each time that Teasdale has come. OK, the score here at the 16-minute uh, mark. We see uh, South Melbourne 3-3-21 to South Fremantle. One goal, one seven points. The centre bounce again. There's Jackson. He's going through like a terrier. He copped a nasty run, but the umpires paid a free kick. Must have thought he was bumped too hard. By golly, he's doing well at centre-half back, Jackson, as the ball goes up there to Teasdale, trying to get position in front of Popogies, couldn't get it. Barrett fumbled the ball for South Fremantle, they're piling on there like nobody's business. Out it comes to Carter, and South Fremantle are away, but he had a fresh air shot. This allows Fields to pick it up, do a bit of sidestepping nicely too, as the ball goes down there towards Moore, but he couldn't pick it up. Pushed away by Kavanagh, finally it's picked up by James, he better get rid of it quickly, he does. There's a chance for Tomo, he's marked it. Big Tomo's right in front of the goals, only about uh, 12 metres out. Must have been in the right place at the right time. Yes, yeah, so he couldn't have missed that. As a matter of fact, Tomo has done badly. He's taken a, a one mark, it's his second mark, the chance to score his first goal. And of course, if he gets this, it'll be South Melbourne's fourth at the 17-minute mark of the Escort Championships. Coming to you live through Channel 7 as we see, oh, what's he done with it? Well, he must have thought he was still playing for Collingwood in the grand final. OK. South Melbourne a 3 4 22 to uh, South Fremantle, one goal, one seven points. We've got South Melbourne, South Fremantle. South Melbourne's in different colours, and South uh, Fremantle are wearing the South Melbourne colours. You try and work it out yourself, Pete. Kick out uh, taken by Moylan, and chasing after it for South Melbourne out there on the other side is Browning. Oh, they're messing around with this round, and they'll get it forward. Up towards the centre half forward position, and uh, Little Evans comes out and takes a very, very nice mark in front of Kavanagh. He's gone for a hand pass. I don't know whether that was uh, too successful. Hounsell over to Fields. Fields picks it up, got no one to give it to. That was a beautiful tackle by Vagona. The umpire called play on, and Vagona was looking for a free kick. It's taken away by Outhwaite. Outhwaite's kick is up towards the centre of the ground. There's Jackson, the former Richmond under 19 player, but the ball was knocked away from him. Still a chance for South Fremantle, but they can't handle these greasy conditions. Finally, it's picked up there by Rioli. Rioli down towards the centre half forward position. It's all South Melbourne, and a good safe mark is brought down uh, for them down there by Bryce. Bryce's kick back towards the halfback flank, going up very high as Cruz. He couldn't take the mark under the greasy conditions, though. Plenty of weight being used in the packs there. O'Neill's there for South Melbourne, but it's all South Fremantle. The hand pass is accepted down there by uh, uh, for them Haddo. Haddo's kick back in towards the pocket. And Carter 
pouncing on the ball, has a snapshot for goal, and I think he might have put it through. Four points to South Fremantle, Noel Carter. It's his second. A beautiful piece of play then by Noel Carter. He, uh, he balked, and it was uh, a great team goal because there were three or four South Fremantle players who had a hand in that goal. And uh, from the point of view of the board, it's good that uh, South Fremantle will have another look at Noel Carter's goal as he, there he is uh, walking around, uh, takes full time and uh, steadies, and it was good to see his player further upfield in uh, Van Der Feen, not making any attempt to uh, try and mark that ball and allow it to go through for full points. Well, they were, uh, the game is still pretty close. Two goals, one, uh, we see South Fremantle 13 points to South Melbourne 3 4 22, and there's the bounce again. A chance for South Fremantle to go further forward as the free kick will go here uh, to uh, Mountain. Mountain to take this free kick for South Fremantle at centre field. A long kick looking out there for J uh, <coughs> not Jackson that time. The ball is pushed away by South Fremantle. Goes over there to Carter again. He has another snap for goal, but it's off target this time and through for one point. So they go to three goals, three. 14 points is a uh, three goals, two, I should say. 2 2. 2 2. Let me get it right this time. 2 2 14 uh, to South Melbourne, 3 4 22. 19. And there's the siren for the end of the quarter. And uh, we see uh, South Melbourne in front, three goals, 4 22 to South Fremantle, two goals, 2 14. I mean, it's actually, Louis, the, uh, well, the, the scoreboard score yeah. is uh, not functioning particularly well because it's got 2 2 4. 3 4 22 so get we'll used to it Pete because it's been late all night <laughs> <laughs> and of course we've got a confusing night we've got South Melbourne in orange colours which <laughs> and you'll win the Thorn 14 inch uh, portable car notice down there with uh, uh, Mel Brown that's the coach of South Fremantle for the ex-Richmond player is he has Francis Burke as his runner and that's a shot on there in our screen the big mouth from the west. Yep. He can't hear me, so I can say that without uh, risk of being uh, in trouble. I might tell him after the game what you said. I'm sure you. Uh, I'm sure you were being uh, in trouble. I might tell him after the game what you said. I'm sure you. Uh, I'm sure you were. Louis, thanks very much indeed. You're always a great help. I'll stay with you. I'm sure. You great help. I'll stay with you. I'll all these guys. <laughs> so the second quarter coming up with uh, South Fremantle finally 14 to 22.